Till now we have solved four problems of convolution and in this lecture we will solve the fifth problem. This problem is taken from Gate Electronics and Communication 2000 paper. Let's read the problem. Let ut be the step function which of the waveforms in the figure corresponds to the convolution of ut minus ut minus 1. Let's say this is the first signal with ut minus ut minus 2. Let's say this is the second signal. So we are convoluting signal 1 with signal 2 and we need to plot the waveform of the resultant signal. So the question is very simple. There are two signals, this one and this one and you need to convolute the two signals and the resultant signal after the convolution will have some waveform which you are required to obtain because all the four options are having the waveforms. So it is important to get the waveform of the resultant signal so that you can match the correct option. And you can easily solve this question if you use the short trick I gave you. The trick was related to the convolution of two rectangular pulses. Whenever you convolute two rectangular pulses then there are two possibilities either the resultant signal will be a trapezoid will be a trapezoid or the resultant signal will be a triangle it depends on the signals you are convoluting for example the first rectangular signal is having the width equal to w1 and the second rectangular signal is having the width equal to w2 and they are unequal then you will get a trapezoid. You can see there are two options out of four having the trapezoidal waveform. In case number two when the first rectangular signal is having the width w and the second rectangular signal is also having the width w they are same you will get a triangle. You can see two options are triangle. So this is what we have to find out. We need to find out if the two signals are having the same width and I can say the two signals are rectangular signals because when you plot ut minus ut minus 1 you will get a rectangular signal and when you plot ut minus ut minus 2 again you will get a rectangular signal. So this is something we already know and you will know this when you practice some questions. So the question is very easy. Using the trick we can easily obtain the answer. But here there is one important thing you should notice. There are two trapezoids, there are two triangles. From here we can find out if the waveform is trapezoidal or triangular. But we need to differentiate between this trapezoid and this trapezoid and this triangle and this triangle. And we can do this by the extension of the trick I gave you. So without wasting any time, let's dive into the solution of this question. First I will plot the two waveforms. Let's say the output or the resultant signal we are getting is equal to yt and it is equal to ut minus ut minus 1 convolution with ut minus ut minus 2. First I will plot ut minus ut minus 1 and for this I will write this signal in a different form 0 plus ut minus 0 minus ut minus 1. I can write this signal in this form and now I will plot the waveform of the signal. You can see initially the signal is equal to 0 and this is our first signal which is the function of time. So initially signal is equal to 0 but when t is equal to 0, you can see when t is equal to 0, there is upward level switching or you can say there is upward shifting and the amount of shifting is equal to 1 because here we are having 1. So when t is equal to 0, S1t from 0 becomes 1 and this will continue up to t equal to 1 when t is equal to 1 there is downward level switching because we can see there is negative sign. So our signal was 1 up to t equal to 1 and again it fell down to 0 when t is equal to 1 
and after this it will continue to be zero we can add zero here this means the signal will continue to be zero so this is how the waveform will look and you can see the flow of the signal from minus infinity to zero signal value is equal to zero when t is equal to zero there is upward level switching and the value of signal becomes one now the value will remain one from zero to one when t is equal to one there is downward level switching and the value of signal becomes zero so this is the flow from one to infinity you can obtain the same waveform using a different method we have used this method because we have already seen the shortcut method to obtain the mathematical representation of the given waveform and as we have the mathematical representation here we can obtain the waveform now i will explain you another way to obtain the same waveform first we will plot the waveform of ut the waveform of ut we already know it is like this from minus infinity to zero ut is equal to zero and from zero to infinity ut is equal to one so this is how the waveform of unit step signal will look and now we will plot the waveform of minus u t minus 1 we can write it as u t plus minus u t minus 1 we have the waveform of u t and now we will obtain the waveform of minus u t minus 1 for this we will perform the time shifting and the amplitude scaling this means we will perform the time shifting and amplitude scaling in the unit step signal first we will perform the time shifting it will give us ut minus 1 and then we will perform the amplitude scaling and it will give us minus ut minus 1 you can also call it amplitude reversal so let's see how the waveform will look after performing the time shifting we will have the waveform like this ut minus 1 this blue waveform is the waveform of ut minus 1 and now we will perform the amplitude reversal after performing the amplitude reversal we will have the waveform which will be the mirror image of this waveform about the x-axis so the waveform will look like this this is the waveform of minus u t minus 1 and to get the waveform of signal s1 t we need to add u t and minus u t minus 1 and for clear understanding i will remove this blue waveform because it is the waveform of u t minus 1 and we don't have to do anything with this waveform i will again plot the waveform of ut this is the waveform of ut and now we will add the two waveforms after adding the two waveforms you can see this portion will cancel out because here we have one from one to infinity ut is equal to one and from one to infinity minus ut minus one is equal to minus one so one plus minus one is equal to zero so you can see we have the same waveform all this portion will be gone after the addition and the only remaining thing is same as the above waveform so i will complete the waveform of ut minus ut minus 1 this is how the waveform will look ut minus ut minus 1 so it is up to you which method you want to use you will get the same result but i will suggest you to use this method when you are appearing in some competitive examination because it will save you some time now following the same process i will obtain the waveform of signal s2t so let's quickly plot the waveform of our second signal s to t it is equal to ut minus ut minus 2 there is only one difference if you compare the first signal in place of 1 
we have 2 so simply extend the non-zero region of the waveform up to t equal to 2 so this is how the waveform will look now you can see the width of first rectangular pulse is equal to 1 and the width of second rectangular pulse is equal to 2 so we have the unequal widths and therefore the resultant signal after performing the convolution is going to be a trapezoid so option a and option d are not the correct options option a and option d are not correct because we have triangular waveform in the two options now we are left with option c and option b for this we need the exact waveform of the result and signal so let's plot the exact waveform we have everything to plot the exact waveform of the result and signal yt the first thing is to find out the extension to find out the extension we will add this zero and this zero here because from this instant of time only s1t is becoming non-zero and in case of s2t also from this instant only it is becoming non-zero so zero plus zero will give us zero and from this instant our signal yt will become non-zero now we will add this one and this two one plus two is equal to three so after this instant our signal will become zero now we have the extension now we will try to find out the important instant of time up to which the signal value will linearly increase you can see the two trapezoids and you will find up to 1.5 the signal is increasing linearly and here up to 1 the signal is increasing linearly to find this instant we focus on the width or duration which is minimum here 1 is smaller than 2 and this 0 here is the starting point starting point so we will measure 1 from this starting point this is 1 here so the signal will increase linearly up to 1 but up to what value it will increase linearly the value here will be equal to a1 multiplied to a2 multiplied to t1 where t1 is the minimum width it is equal to 1 a2 is the amplitude of the second signal it is equal to 1 and a1 is the amplitude of the first signal it is also equal to 1 so 1 multiplied to 1 multiplied to 1 is equal to 1 so our signal will increase linearly up to t equal to 1 and have the value equal to 1 now from this information only you can have the correct answer option b is the correct answer because in this case the signal is increasing linearly up to 1.5 and having the value 1.5 which is incorrect it will increase linearly up to 1 and have the value equal to 1 but i will show you how to obtain the complete waveform after this we will measure the larger width from the starting point so here we will have 2 and this is the width of second pulse and this is the width of first pulse and our signal will remain constant up to t equal to 2 which is the width of second pulse from the starting point and from here it will decrease linearly up to t equal to 3 now you can match the waveform and you will find option b is the correct option so i hope you now understand how to obtain the convolution of two rectangular pulses and by using this shortcut method you will save a lot of time so this is all for this lecture if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section and if you have doubt following the shortcut method and also how to obtain the waveform using the mathematical representation do follow the previous lectures so I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.